This and all the ministry that happens at FaithBridge is possible because you committed to go all in. Thank you. I'm Travis Barczyk, and I've been going to Young Adults for five months now. Grew up in Catholic Church, um, pretty much drugged to church, never really connected with what was being said or preached, just kind of went each week, most of the time fell asleep, not really willing to grasp on to what can't be seen or felt. Um, so I just had a large disconnect for most of my life with faith. I've been running for eight years, and I only started because all my friends did it. It wasn't a passion at all to begin with, but graduating, then going on to the professional career, then you start doing it for the actual love of it. Well, at least, at least I did. You start to actually say, I love this sport. It's what I really admire. It's what I just really enjoy doing. Recently moved here, had had an injury that really affected the potential for my running career, um, poten potentially ending it. Um, so I was in a really bad place mentally and it's just really dis discouraging seeing all that you worked for kind of just disappearing in front of you. I work at Fleet Feet Sport, which is just a running shoe store. Um, I'd probably been here for four months, and so this man comes in with his, do his daughter. For some reason, I felt compelled to ask him, hey, what church are you involved to? Just some small talk. And he's like, oh, I go to, I go to Faith Bridge, and um, if you want, you can come with me and my fam family this, this weekend. And for whatever reason, I was just like, sure. It was really amazing. I've never, you know, going to a Catholic church, people kind of keep to themselves. And coming to Faith Bridge, I mean, people open the door for you. They greet you. There's co coffee and donuts waiting for you. And every single song that was sung that day spoke to my heart exactly how I had been feeling. I've always felt like the last few months drowning in a way, just I'm lost and I'm just trying to tread water and I can barely keep my head above it. Um, and here the song is saying, I'm God and I can keep you afloat. And I felt, and I actually started to kind of cry during that because it spoke so close to my heart. And so then Mike De DeStefano got up and talked and his whole sermon was about life transitions and periods of waiting. Um, and I was like, that's exactly where I am right now. And so I started going to young adults. And at this point, I'm still atheist, still a non-believer, but there was, the Holy Spirit was for cert certain working in my heart at that time. I first met Travis in the summer of 2014 when he came to Young Adults for the first time. Travis signed up for our bars and restaurants missional community and so he started attending the group and just enjoyed the people that he met there and started to form relationships and get plugged in uh, with a group of believers for the first time really in his life. Um, so I signed up for that group and showed up there and started to go there for a few weeks. Wasn't really committing to the Word of God or allowing Him to work in my heart. So I actually left Young Adults for another four, five, six months. Um, and then one of my friends pre previously from Young Adults, I had made some friends, invited me to hang out again and kind of reconnect with me and actually care about how I was doing, how I was feeling. He hadn't seen me in a while. So as he began to experience those relationships, it really helped draw him to the Lord because he was able to recognize, hey, something's different about this group. Uh, there's something going on here that I've never experienced before in my life. And then since then, I started to kind of relax a little bit, open up again. And as soon as I started doing that, God just started to move in my heart. Previously, if I was going to church, I wouldn't look forward to it. It's just like, it's such a drag. I have to get out of bed. Um, I just want to sleep in. And now each week, it's like church is like the one thing I look forward to. Young adults each Thursday, I can't wait to, to be there. Um, I think with me being a long time atheist, someone that would deny the fact that there is a God or that he cared about us, God showed me in sometimes the, cru the cruelest of ways, taking away a lot of relationships, taking away my passion for a long time, um, but filling me with grace and love where I had, in my own opinion, lacked that for an extremely long amount of time. And it wasn't a gradual process of me becoming a believer. I never think that. It's like when you jump into a pool, you either dip your toe in or you take a plunge. And it's almost as if he shoved me in. Um, and so from that first time at Faith Bridge, there just wasn't doubt from that point on. Whereas beforehand, you couldn't even get me to go to church. And here I am, like a full on believer.